Good afternoon, everybody. I am at Conduit Coffee. It's a precious little coffee house and it's brand new in the Woodlands area of Houston. I wanna take you in because this shop is owned by one of my dear friends, Robin. She actually is the one that we got married in her backyard. She allowed us to get married in her backyard and it was beautiful. We couldn't find a venue and we couldn't find one in our budget. So she offered her backyard. So she's a dear friend of mine. She's also the one who taught me how to do hair. So I am really excited for you to meet her and see her brand new coffee house. If you're in this area or anywhere close, even within an hour, come check this out. I'm really excited to go in and see her new place. So come with me and let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, what the Italians served since they invented it. Um, they actually, a drip coffee doesn't exist in um, in Italy. So everything is a double shot. So you have your oh, espresso geez. in here and macchiato. This like a macchiato means marked or spotted in Italian. So there's actually no milk in either of those. Cortado is your smallest milk based drink. So it is oh. light whiskey mm -hmm. milk and the two shots of espresso. Okay. Your flat white, your cappuccino, go in this one. Flat white is just what people would refer to as a wet cappuccino. The Australians decided just to make up their own hair. <laughs> so it's, it's for the people that like the texture of a latte, how the milk pairs with it, but they right. don't want to drown in milk. So like, how about we cut down the milk? It's about half okay. the milk that you have in a latte. So Gosh, all the options. Latte, latte is the one that what most people like when people go to Starbucks and they're like, I want a caramel macchiato, I want an upside down caramel macchiato. It's just a latte. It's literally just a latte with whatever sweetener you want. And those are our syrups, which are either house made or by a local syrup guy. <laughs> like a syrup guy. Bar, bar Chef Houston. Bar <laughs> Chef Houston. And, and yes. then yeah, uh, it's, it's him and his mom, right? Him and his mom, yes, yes. making syrup out of the actual uh, oh. like flower petals, so it's like lavender or rose or hibiscus. Oh, heck. Uh, it's really good. There's minimal serious. sugar. It's just water fantastic. Yeah. It's, oh, it's on a point. real plate. Wow. Real plate. Oh my gosh. So that's two different um, pastry chefs you have here. This is Heather from Chic Sweets, and this mm -hmm. is Casa de Chrissy. She does all her vegan pastries. She does all vegan pastries. That's vegan, y'all. Yeah. Very excited. Both are really good. Yeah. yeah. The thing I really like about Chic's is that they're not overly sweet. Again, like. So she yeah. has a raspberry Danish too, and that one's made like real raspberries and whatnot, so it's like yeah. sugar. That one. Am I hanging over your shoulder like this? No, it's totally fine. <laughs> so we do our decaf, my my grinder broke for my decaf right now. Oh no. So we're doing something a little bit different with our decaf than we would normally do for an espresso based drink. But this is going to be very smooth because it's cold brew. Mm -hmm. yes. it's, undi it's undiluted though, so it is going to be, uh, have a good yeah. taste. We're going to dilute it with some milk. Yeah. The good stuff. That's right. And there's their syrups right there. Yeah, he recycles. He's a Mercedes. Sweet. The machine is beautiful. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. This is uh, like a manual car version of an espresso machine. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. 
It's but really it pretty. You can I was about to say, did it take you some time of... to learn it? Yeah, it's like watching videos. There's not really a lot of people here who have um, leather espresso machines. I would say I've never so, seen that. Yeah, it is a lot of reading and trying to like, translate over from whether this machine came from Italy. And Italian doesn't really translate to English really well. So it's <laughs> like, you're like, what no. are you talking about? And this is like, <laughs> to us, this is a porta filter. To them, this is a coffee holder. And you're like, okay. 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 Right. So normally, we would make you some latte art or something. I'm all good. Okay. All right. Okay. So to start with, I got a cappuccino and added vanilla syrup to it. Natural syrup. I'm going to get that a try first. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I didn't even add sweetener to it. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Like honestly, and I like sweeter coffee. It doesn't need it. That vanilla is beautiful. That coffee is smooth. No bitter aftertaste at all. So I really don't need sugar. This is the cheese Danish. And this is the apple pop tart. I'm gonna call this the adult pop tart. It's so pretty. So they told me this was the best one. They said it's basically like apple pie and it's vegan and it's not too sweet. So I'm gonna try this one first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is like eating warm apple pie. It's like eating apple pie. Here's the inside of it. You see the layers of flaky crust and the apple. Oh my gosh, I could eat the whole thing. That is dangerous. You're not kidding, that thing's dangerous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. It's so good. Maybe my new best friend. It's flaky, buttery, cinnamon, good layers of apple. Amazing. On Tuesday, cream cheese danish. It smells so good. Yep, the clips. It's really good. That is beautifully cooked. And they're right, nothing's overly sweet. Even the Pop-Tart. Did you see that there's stars on it? Let me show you. There's actually these little stars, gold stars on this Pop-Tart. See the little gold stars? How cute! I love it! Are you seeing the apple in this? Look how much apple is in this. And it is freaking delicious. Homemade, you guys. Homemade. It's like apple pie in a pop pie. So I also got a cookie to take home. I don't film that at home. Okay, so I'm back home. I'm putting this in the middle and then I'm finishing the video back at the coffee shop but i wanted to show you guys the cookie that i got this thing is the size of my hand do you see this the size of my hand it smells amazing oh my gosh okay <laughs> it's like grandma's cookies for sure oh my gosh it's so good now i will tell you I like things a little doughy, like soft and kind of dough tasting, especially my cookies and brownies. So that has that kind of taste to it and it's very soft. So I'll let you know that if you don't like it, but um, it is perfect. Oh my gosh. So let's go back to the coffee shop and we'll end our video there. That's so good. I can't stop eating the apple pie. Pop this is seriously a problem. <laughs> so this is Robin. She's the owner, part owner, right? You guys own it together. So this is the coffee shop. And I just went in there and it's amazing. And I'm so blessed to have her as a friend. She let me get married in her backyard. It was <laughs> warm. So come, come check her out, come visit her and come get you some coffee and treats. So you guys make sure you support my friend, Robin. She's amazing. Her coffee shop is wonderful. Go check it out. I'll link it for you guys below. Also, I grabbed a shirt while I was in there. They had these really soft t-shirts. Oh my gosh, they had black ones and they had these purple ones. And then on the back of it says Conduit Coffee too. It's really, really cute. It's so soft. Can't wait to wear it and 
promote her and her business. Thanks for joining me. Go check it out. Don't forget when you subscribe or if you already are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know whenever we drop a new video. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for joining me. Remember Sutton Stops make the best adventures and Conduit Coffee makes some amazing coffee. See you guys later.